Hello, anybody. Bill Kimball, looking forward to the pleasure of your company. We'll unwind together shortly after 7 tonight. Kimball Eyes, on the Station of the Stars, 950 WPEN. I saw the harbor lights They only told me we were parting That's Al Martino and some of them Egg Harbor lights right there. Tom Moran right here for Joe Niagara. It's uh, 435 on the Station of the Stars. Paul's Run Retirement Community is pleased to offer a range of quality care which promotes peace of mind and personal security while adapting to your future health care needs. Patients. Call 1-800-GOODYEAR. But hurry, the sale ends July 13th. It is Ju July... Hello? We on July the 10th, and over there in the WPN traffic thing is uh, Randy Chepigan, uh, Aloha, be there, book em. It is indeed. Thank you. Hi, Tom. We've had uh, not a bad day, all told, but a couple of problems with accidents. One still being worked on northbound Broad Street approaching. Call 1-800-F-O-R-G-U-L-F. I'm Randy Chepigan at the WPEN Traffic Center on 950 WPEN. We're the Joe Niagara Big Band Classic from Glenn Miller. Ballerina dance. Flower song, of course, Nat King Cole and ballerina. The guys mentioned it this morning on the early morning show, as is the case. That that's the way it works, you know. The song is mentioned during the morning show, and then in the four o'clock hour, it's played on the Joe Niagara show here at WPN. And Bob McKinley of uh, Sea Cane was uh, the person who's going to be getting. Congratulations to you, Bob. You got your uh, 10 pennies florist from South Philadelphia. We'll be uh, seeing to it that you get a nice floral arrangement. For identifying WPEN's flower song for today, Nat King Cole and Ballerina. It's the Joan Agra Show, of course, and over there in the WPN Traffic Center, Randy Chepigan. Hi, Tom. Things getting a little busier yet, I'm afraid. North on the Roosevelt Boulevard now, jamming up north of the expressway for Cotman Man. I'm Randy Chepigan at the WPEN Traffic Center on 950 WPEN. You're Cotman Man. Exactly. Cotman Man. Here we go. Uh, mostly clear, cool night tonight. Lows in the upper 50s to near 60. Boy, can you use that? Me too. Sunny tomorrow, high in the low 80s, and uh, down the shore and up in the mountains, weather's about the same. Temperature's up a degree for crying out loud. 79 out there, but I'll take it. Ladies and gentlemen, here on the Joe Niagara Show, WPEN, Matt Monroe. When Joanna loved me The month is May. Johnny Mathis and chances are from Stereo 95 AM. It's the Joe Niagara Show. I think one of the first duties that the, uh, the first woman chief justice in New Jersey, Deborah Parts, should do is to go down there and argue the case mm -hmm. for uh, sole possession of Ellis Island with the uh, lawyers from New York, all right? I mean, there are qualified people down there arguing before the Supreme Court today as to uh, proper ownership and stuff like that. It just ticks me off, I'm telling you. When I, I mean, Jersey City is my hometown. I grew up there, and uh, it used to be New Jersey Bell. Do you remember the old days before Bell Atlantic? It used to be New Jersey Bell. They provide... They still do, as far as I know. They provide the phone service to Liberty Island and Ellis Island in Jersey City, in New York Harbor. Eh? Let's see. Public Service Electric and Gas, now known as PSE&G, to be real hip. They do all the uh, utilities, and it's the Jersey City water system that's used. And uh, what else do we need to know here? Okay. The U.S. Postal Service, I think, is still... That's uh, it's bi-statal, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, good luck to uh, the first uh, woman Chief Justice in New Jersey, and I think she get down there and kick some butt before the Supreme Court. Thank you a lot. Appreciate it. Hey, Ron. 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 Hey,
Hey, listen up for the latest news from Atlantic City. Harrah's Casino Hotel is having a grand opening and expansion celebration you'll never forget. Now Harrah's is bigger and better than ever. And you're invited to join the fun. To kick it off, we're offering you free parking. That's right, free parking. For Joe Niagara Show, uh, let's see, three minutes or so away from Glenn Barton's news and stuff on the hour. And uh, another traffic report from Randy over there in the traffic center. And a reminder from Tom the Short that Thursday night, Penn's Landing will be just jumping one more time. Another WPN Big Band Blast down by the riverside and hosting the Hal, the Hal Raymond. Hal, it's Al, Tom. Thank you. The Hal, hosting the Al Raymond Orchestra will be a man who engineers the WPN night train through the night, Bob Craig. You want to get down there early, get, to get your best seats tomorrow night. Uh, showtime, 7.30. Hang out from, say, like 7 o'clock on. Bob Craig would really appreciate it. Walk right over to him. Introduce yourself. And uh, get an autograph and stuff. And tell him that you're a, you're a Bob Craig Night Train fan from uh, and, and just devoted to WPN radio station. of the stars. W-P-E-N. Philadelphia. 5 p.m. Mostly sunny skies. 76 degrees now. We might need that blanket tonight in some of the outlying areas. This edition of the W-P-E-N Late Afternoon News is being brought to you by Cadillac and your local Cadillac dealer creating a higher standard. A tragic accident in Atlantic City. We'll have the story after another check on traffic with Randy Chapigan of the WPEN Traffic Center. Good afternoon, Randy. Good afternoon, Glenn. Things are still quite a bit backed up, but at least we can start out with a little bit of good news. Route 100 is open again in Chester County between 23 and 401. An earlier accident there has been completely cleared. Pretty heavy volume on southbound Route 1 in Bucks County this afternoon in the ongoing construction zone. It's slow from Oxford Valley Road down to 413 on the southbound side, but northbound looks all right. North on Broad Street, it's still jammed approaching Hunting Park Avenue. An accident there still in the process of being cleared as well. 73 starting to slow up southbound for about half a mile at the Maple Shade Water Tower. Slow again from the Turnpike down through Church Road. And eastbound Adver Wilson Boulevard, sluggish between Baird Boulevard and the Airport Circle. And then eastbound 70 slows from Kings Highway to Covered Bridge. 42 freeway southbound jammed from the base of the Walt Whitman through just past 130. Disabled vehicle in the center lane of the outer drive there. Slows again just south of Creek Road. And southbound 295 is slowing from the Black Horse Pike down to 42. This traffic report, a service of the Philadelphia Zoo. Make waves to the 
Zoo and enjoy America's only giant river otter, otters, Banyo and Rio, as they dive and swim in their cool, gigantic pool. Don't miss the fun this summer at the Philadelphia Zoo. I'm Randy Chepkin at the WPEN Traffic Center on 950 WPEN. No one seems to know just how it happened or why, but two women were killed today in Atlantic City when their car somehow plunged from the fourth level of the Claridge Casino Hotel parking lot onto Ohio Avenue below. No names have been released as yet. Philadelphia Archdiocese today delivered about 40,000 postcards to Mayor Ed Rendell's office. Those cards voicing opposition to the mayor's domestic partnership order that extends city benefits to some same-sex couples. Hurricane Bertha continues to defy the computers, all of which say the storm is going to turn to the north and away from the eastern seaboard. It may yet, but at the moment it turns northwest past the Bahamas. Hurricane warnings are now up from Sebastian Inlet in Florida, that is South Central Florida, to Cape Romaine, South Carolina. North Carolina's outer banks have already been evacuated, and in Florida, a half million people have been removed or told to leave. Governor Lawton Child says there are plenty of takers at the shelters. Shelters have been opened in uh, almost all of the counties. Every report we get is that there's uh, some traffic, but it's moving pretty well. Bertha is packing sustained peak winds of 105 miles per hour, and even if it turns north now, there's going to be plenty of beach erosion and riptides all along the eastern seaboard from Florida to the North Carolina-Virginia border. For the 33rd time, Dr. Jack Kevorkian has assisted in a suicide. This time it was a 39-year-old California woman who suffered from multiple sclerosis. President Clinton was in Charlotte, North Carolina today to speak to the annual NAACP convention. Bob Dole was conspicuous, released by the Baltimore Ravens, which of Ooh. course were the old... Cleveland Browns. I didn't know that. Yes. yes. Well, I got to pay attention to you, Glenn. That's all there is to it. <laughs> and, and what do you that think? That may be a downfall for a lot of people. You realize that. <laughs> what do you think about uh, Mitch coming back to the Phils? You think? How about uh, that? Well, of course, we're not sure he's going. Yeah, we we don't know that he's going to come back to the Phillies That's per se. True. That's but, true. Yeah, but he's working out with the uh, uh, with the team down in Clearwater, Florida, and hopes for another shot at the big leagues, and says he wants to play with the Phils, and the Phils are going to give him a chance. Um, I would say one thing. It would liven up the season a little bit. I think if, so. If nothing else. Yeah. I okay. think the biggest news from the Phillies organization was the, the one I heard today about uh, Lenny Dykstra making a uh, commercial, an ad, a TV spot uh, about the ills, the... I saw of that. chewing tobacco. I saw that last night. It is excellent. That is a great piece of business. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A real coup as far as uh, whichever company came out with that. Because uh, I did see that last night. It was at the tail end of the All-Star game. And uh, I thought it was very, very effective and something that uh, really ought to be said. And, and uh, who better to say it than a guy who is kind of addicted to it? The dude. Na the dude, that's you, for sure. Absolutely. All right, the official 950 WPEN weather forecast. Clear and cool tonight, the low 58 in the city, but the mid-50s in some outlying areas. Sunny and pleasant tomorrow with a high of 81. Increasing clouds late tomorrow night, the low 63. There's a chance of rain Friday with a high 81. Winds out of the northwest, 12 miles per hour, 40% the humidity, and 76 degrees at International Airport. This traffic report brought to you by Park and Go. Flying out, park at Park and Go, one block west of the airport for their ultra Express service, frequent Parker program, and low weekly rate of forty-two ninety-nine with coupon. Call five two one five zero five zero at five zero eight. I'm Glenn Barton for nine fifty WPEN. He touched me. He put his hand near mine, and then he touched me.